Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll run through the UK Met Office run have a look at the precipitation and temperature over the next five days as we do head into the Jubilee Bank holiday weekend looking at the weather through Thursday Friday and we could be touching on it a little bit on Saturday and Sunday when we have a look at the medium to longer range looking at the GFS GM Eastern DF and the ensembles now it's pretty cool at the moment cooler air is coming in from the east with an upper trough bringing a lot more showers and those showers are going to be most widespread and intense tomorrow and on Tuesday um, as well as much cooler conditions back into the mid to low teens however as we're towards the bank holiday weekend it does look like those temperatures will be on the up and shower activity will reduce but not go to zero um, so towards the bank holiday weekend it does look like there is going to be plenty of warmer weather nothing hot but perhaps into the low 20s and it does look like there will be plenty of dry weather around but still the risk of some showers and of course if we do see some warmer air come up from the south it could also maybe introduce a few thunderstorms as well but that is something that we'll have to look at in more detail nearer the time we'll, but we'll touch on it a little bit today so do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Also do check out the channel membership, that link's in the description as well. So if we do start, as I said, on the live radar, you can see there is a smackering of showers across the UK at the moment. We've seen some heavy and a few thundery showers spread through Wales, down into parts of southwest England, a few little thunderstorm cells there. Nothing crazy, but if you're under these cells, it is intense, maybe some lightning and some torrential rain. Elsewhere, the showers are generally moderate in intensity, a few yellows mixing in, which is heavier pulses of rain, but generally the showers are of moderate intensity. Not too widespread today, but a lot of convection pop popping up, so quite a lot of cumulus clouds out there, um, so some brighter spells, but it will be clouding over tomorrow with more widespread showers and some banding of those showers potentially as well. And you can start to see the first signs of that in Scotland, where it's not a weather front, it is convection based. Um, there is a little bit of an included front giving lift, but it's not a massive weather front, but there's a lot of cloud on and off, light to moderate rain. So we're starting to see the first signs of conditions we're going to be seeing further southwards in central and eastern Scotland now. Um, as I said, these conditions were moving southwards, bringing cooler conditions and more unsettled conditions as well. So plenty of areas seeing dry weather today, but you'd be lucky if you don't see any uh, any rain at all, even if it's just a, a little bit of spitting rain, um, as these showers do slowly progress southwards. Now, if we do have a look at the temperatures, as I'm recording, this is 5 p.m., so the temperatures are, on, uh, are sort of dropping, and you can see, as I said yesterday, a lot more blues and, and sort of fainter yellows on the charts today. We've been seeing over the last sort of week or so, even in cooler days, still some oranges popping up in peak areas. But you can see hardly any oranges at all, apart from the far southwest of Ireland. And we have highlighted that over the last couple of days as potentially being the best spot over the next few days, being furthest away from this easterly flow. But you can see generally yellows and blues. So blues... Uh, more sort of low teens and around that 10, 12 degree mark. Yellows more around sort of the 13 to 15, maybe 16 degree mark. So nothing massively cold, but much cooler um, and pretty cold for this time of year, really. Um, when we see more showers tomorrow, a more thicker cloud, you'll notice those temperatures a little bit more because with a bit of sunshine out there, these temperatures don't feel too bad, but it's when the wind gets going, showers um, and thicker cloud with, that, with, the, with the lack of sunshine, these sort of temperatures, sort of 10 to 14 degrees, are going to feel really quite cold over the next day or two. So you now have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at the precipitation and temperature over the next five days. So you can see, as I'm running out this afternoon, you can see those smacking of showers, the heavier showers in the far southwest, where we have since seen some intense showers. Um, and you can see some brighter spells, some breaking of the cloud, but you can see across Scotland, thicker cloud. You can see out into the North Sea, more showers, that thicker um, sort of white cloud building. And you can see... Um, showers starting to push in through northwest Scotland through early hours of Monday, drier in the south, some clearer skies for thick cloud does take over for all. Yes, there could be a few sunny breaks through Monday afternoon in isolated areas, but you can see predominantly cloudy with precipitation moving in. As I said, far southwest of Ireland and far southwest of England, yes, there's still shower risks, but there's also the chance of more sunshine. So although there will be showers, those temperatures could rise a little bit higher. But you see widespread shower risk, 
especially in the north pretty miserable conditions and that continues through monday still spiraling around could see an ice day to break in the clouds overnight for tuesday afternoon more heavy showers especially in the east on tuesday more cloud breaks further westwards but yeah quite miserable under there by tuesday evening the clouds are starting to break and a few more showers on wednesday but we're seeing clearer skies for some so a bit more sunshine temperatures will be on the up and you can see by thursday afternoon weather fronts in the north bring some precipitations further south is a little bit cloudy but much drier and as i said as we head through wednesday it's looking likely it could be turning uh, a little bit, uh, but, sorry, but through Friday it could be turning uh, quite a bit warmer as we head into that Jubilee weekend. So Thursday not looking too bad for the Jubilee, apart from perhaps the far north of Scotland uh, and a few patchy showers in northern England. But elsewhere, drier, and those temperatures will be starting to increase. If we do have a look at the upper air temperatures, the 850 HBA temperatures, you can see it is cool at the moment, around minus 1, minus 2 degrees at 850 HBA. We skip to Thursday and Friday, much warmer conditions, widespread warmer conditions, 4, 5 degrees at 850 HPA, maybe 7, 8, 9 or 10 degrees could be wafting up from the south. That could give temperatures into the low 20s. So if you actually have a look at those surface temperatures, you can see today widely sort of 12 to 15 degrees, maybe the ice 16, 17 degrees, and maybe quite a, uh, quite a widespread 17, 18 degrees across the far south of Ireland. But cooler conditions, especially on what we've had recently. Through Monday afternoon again, you can see widely sort of 10 to 14 degrees, quite chilly, maybe the far east of England peaking at 15 16 degrees and by tuesday still quite a cool day it's perhaps 16 17 degrees in the far south but quite a few areas hardly getting above 15 degrees 14 15 degrees pretty chilly indeed feeling cold and that under the precipitation by wednesday you can see that sort of area of 16 to 18 degrees expands quite rapidly perhaps 20 degrees is possible in the london area and that's just because it's drier and a bit more sunshine coming out and by thursday you see potentially warmer weather, maybe widely high teens, low 20s. Um, and we wouldn't, uh, and it's unlikely we see anything higher than maybe 21, 22 degrees. And that's just because thicker cloud around. If we did see some sunshine, I would be surprised with that sort of air masses getting up towards 23, 24, or 25 degrees, but only 20 degrees. And by Friday, with clearer skies, we could get up into the low 20s quite widely. So it could be turning much warmer for the Jubilee weekend. But there is a bit of uncertainty around especially with precipitation, as we'll have a look in a minute with the longer or mid to longer range outlook. So if we do start by having a look at the GFS run, see what that is showing over the next sort of couple of weeks. And you can see the cooler air mass heading from the east, upper air temperatures quite chilly under that, green showing lower pressure, but high pressure starts building by Wednesday. But interestingly, we've got this another another little trough, little upper air trough coming into the northwest of Scotland, heading southwards through the Jubilee weekend through Friday into Saturday, and that will bring showers in and cooler air. The one thing I must say with that is we're not seeing that on other runs. So perhaps the GFS overdeveloping a little upper trough. And this is why I say, yes, it doesn't look it's warming up. It will be turning more more like more dry weather for quite a few. But there is still the chance of showers if we see a little upper trough like this develop, enhancing any convection risks. Beyond that, though, high pressure is still in control in the far south for the rest of Saturday and Sunday. Could be quite warm with wind direction generally coming in from the south-southwest, but still could be showers in the north. Beyond that, we do see higher pressure generally take back over, especially in the south and the east, and right towards the end of the run, perhaps turning quite a bit warmer, if not hotter, with the 50-degree isotherm potentially wafting up from the south. That would give temperatures into the high 20s, maybe low 30s for the middle of June. But it is so far out that we can't say anything with too much certainty at this stage. Again, you look at that temperature deviation, really quite warm, 10 degrees above average. Now, if we go on back to the Jubilee weekend and have a look at those upper air temperatures, again, you can see cool air sort of being consumed by Wednesday, and you can see some warm air just to our south, but that little upper trough has got colder air mixed in through Friday and Saturday, turning things a little bit chillier on Saturday, before by Sunday, warmer air masses start, start to push in, and for Monday, it's turning much warmer in the longer term. So if we do have a look at the temperature deviation just for that period, you can actually see chilly through Wednesday, but, as I said, by Thursday, temperatures are starting to rise. But the GFS has that cold air just hang on. That warm air that the other runs have coming in is just staying 
just offshore in, in the near channel and across France. Beyond that, though, the warm air does take over eventually, and we do go much warmer for the middle or well, first of third to middle of June. So it doesn't look too bad in the longer term, but the GFS is throwing a little bit of a spanner in the works for this Jubilee weekend, potentially bringing a little bit more precipitation and slightly cooler temperatures instead of low to mid 20s, perhaps only struggling into the high teens. So interesting seeing that from the GFS today. But if we do contrast it to the GM run and have a look at what that is showing over the next 10 days, again, cool upper air conditions moving through at the moment, but high pressure building back in for the Jubilee weekend. Yes, there's a little upper trough developing, potentially just to our northeast, but generally high pressure's in control. And yes, there will be showers around, but it's not any cool air masses by any means. We're not seeing any of these greens, which is little pockets of colder air um, that are sitting further northwards and eastwards. We are under higher pressure for the Jubilee weekend. And yes, there could be showers around, but generally it doesn't look too bad in the longer term. Again, warmer and drier. Now, if you have a look at the upper air temperatures, you can see cold at the moment. As we head towards the Jubilee weekend, warm air is wafting up from the south, could get the 10 degree ice firm in. That is low to mid 20s territory, and it doesn't look too bad. Yes, there could be showers around, but the upper air temperatures are all around five degrees plus, which as I said, High teens, low 20s, very widespread. So yeah, doesn't look too bad on the GM run and the long term potentially wafting up even warmer air masses from the south. If we do finish, uh, have a look at the individual models, but have a look at the ECM WF, see how that does compare. Again, cold air mixing in at the moment, then high pressure building back in. Yes, a few little upper troughs towards Friday, Saturday time before high pressure firmly builds in and it would be quite dry. And yes, maybe a slight easterly wind, but those air, upper air masses we'll see in the minute aren't too bad. So if you do run it back, have a look at the 850 HPA temperatures. Again, cold air masses at the moment. And as we run through into the Jubilee weekend, you see much warmer air does mix in from the south. And again, seeing that five degree ice firm quite widely. And yes, it's not massively hot. If we look at the temperature deviation, it's around slightly above average, maybe slightly below average in little pockets of cooler air. But it generally would give temperatures in the high 20 high high sorry high teens low 20s which isn't too bad when we see a bit of sunshine with it and of course we do see that slightly warmer air wafted up from the south which does eventually look like it will be happening towards some day seven to day 10 so next saturday sunday monday time it could get up into the mid 20s for a few spots so there is uncertainties around with the with uh, uncertainties around with the temperatures for this jubilee weekend it does look like it will generally be turning drier unless we see a drastic change similar to the gfs run seeing like a little upper, upper trough development Developing. Um, it's likely to still be a little bit showery, but drier than the next couple of days. Um, and it does look like temperatures will most likely be in the high teens, low 20s. And if we do see a bit of a warmer air mass mix in, we could even see mid 20s. It uh, could be possible. So if we do finish the video, but have a look at the ensembles. If we start on the GFS run, you can see it's very cold at the moment in upper air conditions, and that'll be really well reflected in the temperatures at the surface, not only this afternoon, but over the next couple of days. It is returning to around average by around the first, second of June, and slightly above average potentially for, as I said, the Jubilee weekend. We could be seeing temperatures return into around that sort of five to seven degree mark at 850 HPA, some even get towards the 10 degree mark, and those will be the ones getting into the mid 20s. So, a bit of uncertainty there. Because if the GFS operational run is one of the cooler runs, it's the thickest, thicker green line here, and it's showing it turning cooler towards the Saturday, Sunday time. And that's because it brings that upper trough in. So, interesting seeing that, but um, it is a bit of an outlier. Most are staying warmer and dry. You can see there is still shower risk around, but nothing too crazy. And you can see the next two days, no massive rainfall spikes because it is going to be generally moderate showers. Um, so the ensembles are not going to pick up on the rainfall amount too much. But you can see not massively wet in the longer term, but it is generally still showery. Right in the extended range, beyond sort of day 10, into sort of the middle of June, it does look like temperatures will be around average, but there is a lot of uncertainty. Some going very cool, some very, uh, like the operational GFS run, are going very warm and hot, getting towards high 20s, maybe 30 degrees. So there is uh, a, a lot of spread there, so we won't really make any, uh, any predictions beyond probably the end of the Jubilee weekend, I think, at this point.
If we do look at the two meter temperatures, you can see cool at the moment, slowly rising over the next sort of three, four, five days. But over the next day or two, when we see the precipitation, it will hold those temperatures down to around 13, 14 degrees. Um, and you can see towards the weekend, so Thursday to Saturday time, widely high teens, low 20s. Some of those warmer runs, as you can see, getting towards that 23, 24, 25 degree mark, perhaps towards Saturday, Sunday time. But the majority of the runs are in around that high teens, low 20s. So warm. Not cold, not hot, but just generally around or slightly above average, which isn't too bad uh, considering the cooler weather we're seeing and cooler and showery weather we're seeing at the moment. Longer term, you can see some very big runs there. Operation run getting into the high 20s and again, lower resolution, especially in the longer term. It's not going to be picking up on those temperatures particularly well. Uh, it, it could be getting up to the low 30s. That is something we need to keep an eye on. But at this stage, as I said, we're only going to look at the next real seven days in any great detail. Now, if we do look at the ECMWF ensemble, see how those do compare. You can see cool over the next sort of three, four, five days as we're towards the bank holiday weekend, 3rd, 4th of June. It does look like it's going to be turning much, much uh, warmer on quite a few of those ensemble runs. You can see towards Friday, Saturday time, quite a few are around that sort of 7, 8, 9, 10 degree mark at 850 HPA. A couple degrees above average, so nothing drastically hot, but warm precipitation though is a little bit higher so perhaps more showers maybe more thundery showers as i said always got the risk when we see these warmer upper air temperatures all you need is a little trigger a little upper trough little feature and we'll start to get heavy showers develop so that is something we also do need to take into account but the east brief ensembles are definitely warmer in the longer term you can see the operation run is actually on the cooler side of the ensemble mean so even though the east brief run was generally dry it did have a slight easterly flow a little bit cooler for the London area um, and generally for the south it's got that easterly flow coming in but it does look like the majority on the ensembles are a much warmer does does though ha still ha pose a shower risk so does it like weather is going to be pretty bad over the next day or two um, getting better from around Wednesday, Thursday onwards. So by the bank holiday weekend, for that four-day bank holiday weekend, it does look like temperatures are going to be returning to around average, if not above average, for quite a few. Precipitation isn't going to be nothing. There is going to be showers around, especially further northwards, and I suspect westwards as well. But I don't. it doesn't look like there's any massive rainfall in the forecast yet. And of course, if we do see some warmer air mixing in, which is possible from some of the ensemble members, it could turn even warmer in the south. Maybe even getting up, to, in, up into the mid-20s, 24, 25 degrees is possible. And of course, a risk of thundery showers and thunderstorms as well. And that is something we do need to keep an eye on. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, have a good next few days uh, ahead of the bank holiday weekend. Unfortunately, the weather isn't going to be doing any favours there. It's looking pretty miserable. But hopefully for this four-day weekend, we do see some plenty dry, sunny and warmish sort of weather. But as I said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.